What's the difference between an occupancy sensor and a vacancy sensor? Lighting consumes up to 20% of the total energy used in commercial buildings. Considerable energy can be saved by adding lighting controls. We'll look at two commonly used types of occupancy sensors, the passive infrared sensor and the ultrasonic sensor. We'll look at where these sensors are most commonly used and where they can save the most energy. The difference between an occupancy sensor and a vacancy sensor is on how they are initially activated. The sensors turn on the lights when the sensor picks up motion through reflective sound waves, radiation, microwaves, or camera technology. Here we see that the difference is that the occupancy sensor turns on the lights when motion is detected, while the vacancy sensor has to be manually turned on. An occupancy sensor and vacancy sensor respond the same when the person leaves the space unoccupied. After a preset time period, both technologies will automatically shut off the lights if the space is empty. Occupancy sensors can save energy when located in stairwells, classrooms, break rooms or cafeterias, bathrooms, open office spaces, conference rooms or meeting rooms, warehouses, laboratories, and parking garages. Occupancy sensors should be located wherever there is intermittent occupancy. A passive sensor uses very little electrical power because it doesn't constantly send out a signal like an ultrasonic sensor. This makes the passive sensor great for wireless communication. The passive sensor picks up the heat emitted from the individual in this space, so it needs direct line of sight to work. It doesn't work well when there are obstructions in the space like partitions or bookshelves. An ultrasonic sensor will emit high frequency sound waves that bounce around the room in objects but are not heard by humans. The sensor will pick up any movement by noticing a change in sound wave frequency. This is based on the Doppler effect or Doppler shift, which is the change in frequency of a wave in relation to an observer who is moving relative to the wave source. Since the ultrasonic occupancy sensor sends out a continuous signal, the electrical power consumed will be higher than the wireless passive infrared sensor. This will require the ultrasonic sensor to most likely be hardwired to provide the constant energy for operation. Ultrasonic sensors are good at detecting movement that may occur behind a partition or bookcase which isn't in the direct line of sight of the sensor. This technology will pick up slight movements of an occupant sitting at their desk reading a book or typing on their computer. The ultrasonic occupancy sensor has a greater detection range than the passive infrared sensors. If you like that video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.